Welcome to Pin TV. If you don't know who we are, then let me tell you whilst riding through our local trails. Okay folks, so we're at the top of the trails in the local Eastridge Woods now. I'm going to talk you through Pin TV and how it came about, who we are. Bear with me, I'm just getting over a bit of food poisoning. First ride back since being in bed for two days. So I might struggle a bit. I won't be pedalling hard, I won't be pushing hard. But hopefully I can talk you through our story. Right, so I grew up in and around the Staffordshire, Shropshire borders and from my early teens and early 20s did all the stuff that you really shouldn't be doing as a kid you know lots of dodgy stuff so i didn't start riding bikes until about the age of 25 like 90 96 something like that bit of cross country what have you there's my bottle back there <laughs> Um, so that's when I started riding local XC stuff with my mates and got into downhill in probably 96 the local lads from Shrewsbury and all that and wherever really enjoyed that and stuck doing it till probably uh, 2002, in which time I was whew, I was working part time for Dirt Magazine mostly, did a little bit of writing for them, reporting, race reports, product testing, and a few articles for MB UK. That was all great fun. And then I did that much. I was so obsessed with it. But uh, I kind of had enough in 2002. Ah, that was right. All right. <laughs> that put me off. Oh. Uh, yeah. So I kind of gave up then. I just had enough of it all. It was, uh, you know, sometimes you just don't appreciate what you've got. I think that was definitely one of them time and in those days it all started the mini biking and mini motorbikes <sighs> going uh, on one of these tracks here I think yeah alright see you in a bit right so back at the top just noticed I've cracked the front screen of my GoPro, which dropped off the handlebars while I was on my way off. Anyway, where was I? Mini bikes. Did mini bikes for a few years, and then uh, that's the mini motorbikes. Did all right at that. Won the first British one. Um, went on to oh god, this is overgrown. Went on to do motorbike enduro from. Uh, 2005 to 2012 worked my way up to expert and then started missing the mountain bikes got back into that 2012 when enduro come along and worked for a german magazine online called enduro bag and then got back into mountain biking hooked up with the old friends people in the industry and realized Wow, mountain biking is not stagnant anymore. It's really taken off. And it's great. Uh, I had my lad. Well, I've got two kids, boy and a girl, but Todd's the rider. Oh, where am I going? He's uh, 2006 had in. Then he started riding when he was eight. Currently now just turned 13. And so he's a big part of my channel. And then started doing MTB vlogs, vlogging in uh, oh, 
What are we on now? In the 2016, something like that. It just is a bit of a mess about to go along with the magazine stuff. Right, we're back on. Change the GoPro. Positioned it a bit higher, it's a bit low, having one of them days today. And uh, where was I? Enduro Mag. So I was writing for them and did MTB vlogs and changed it eventually. Did that with a few mates and changed it to Pin TV. And in the end, Enduro Mag being a little bit of a corporate thing, weren't too keen on it because it was a bit like competition, gave me the choice. So I said, right, I'll do my video thing because. I got a bit bored of writing stuff to be honest. I had enough of it, like doing the video. It was easier, more fun to do. So I got on with that. And uh, it took off from there. And then, like 2018, I sort of, <laughs> what was I doing then? I um, kind of went solo with it. My two mates sort of come away from it. Started, uh, rocking it a bit more flat out putting more time and effort into it learnt how to edit um trying to bring things along not just one trick pony like you know vlogging pov stuff like i'm doing now trying to give it a bit more of a media swing uh, covering events races product reviews that kind of thing and then Sonny come along, Sonny, good mate, a wild man, hell of a rider, says and does pretty much what he thinks, what he wants. Um, not the sort of guy you want to fall out with, but a lovely guy, I say, hang on, come on in, oh he's here. But yeah, a top mate, a top rider, uh, and then obviously, Drawing all this, Todd was riding, getting better, and we pick up more sponsors. So we run channel sponsors that give us some money, and then product sponsors obviously give us products. Which without them, you know, people think Pind is massive, it really isn't. Without them, these definitely couldn't be run, it would really be a struggle to run it so we're eternally grateful and talking of grateful that's a massive part of pin it's like anyone who knows about the law of attraction and that kind of thing i don't want to sound like some cult weirdo but I try and live my life like that now you know I really believe in karma in the giving so that you get back that kind of thing um yeah Oof. Right, where was I? So where we're at now, Pen TV suddenly now seems to be flying, which is amazing. Absolutely buzzing about it. Oof, that was a bit dodgy. Um, it's awesome to do stuff with the crazy sunny and get out and ride and film with my lad Todd as he progresses through the sport and bring you all these different types of vlogs and things just to show you exactly what we get up to and it's not like showing off it's just I want you to all experience it and getting all these subscribers now it's just so good you know I can't ride in today and there's loads here saying hello craziness it's just fantastic so future what does the future hold for pin to me the future is limitless. You'd never put yourself in a box and think, oh, we're only going to do that. I want Penn to get big, so big that it's a livelihood for Todd. When he's older, he wants to carry it on, which it does seem like. Um, I want it to be something that people just love watching, don't find boring. We've got our live show once a month check that out on YouTube uh, we'll continue racing checking out all these awesome products and bringing you some quality vlogs 
come on Ian. There he is. Good boy. Did I say that's Ian? He's the trail dog. He's been on a few of my vids. Come on, son. So that's it, that's Pin TV. Mostly myself, Sonny, my boy Todd, my trail dog, Ian. Uh, some good friends who run it quite often. Hooves, Jay Granby, uh, Coop, and we got Coiny, just loads of them. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you subscribe and come along for the ride. Don't forget, you've got to, uh, if you haven't subscribed, when you subscribe, it's a lot better to hit that bell and then you'll know when uh, a video comes up, you'll get a little email notification. And don't forget to like. I hope you like this video. Give us your comments on anything about this video. Anything you want us to do as well, that's quite interesting. You know, anything you want me to bring along to the table. Thanks for watching. Keep it pinned.